The reason why it's called Halo Infinite because it's taken forever to come out, right? It was supposed to come out with the, when the Xbox, new Xbox launch, and it's still not out yet. So. This is the Halo Infinite multiplayer reveal trailer. I don't play single player games. Crucify me now, whatever you need to do. Single player games, I feel, detract from the fact that I can hang with the boys and have fun. I'm one of them people. So I never played any of the Halo storyline stuff. I've played any of it. Apparently it's really epic, whatever the hell it is. But I've never played and never thought I'd look at Halo until I started playing Splitgate. And was like, everyone's like, oh, it's Halo, but with portals. And I'm like, okay, well, I didn't really like Halo too much. I just played it because the boys were playing it back then. But then I started playing it. And I started really fucking liking it. So I think I might give Halo a run. But this is the uh, multiplayer reveal trailer. So let's see how it's up. I'm hoping this is good. Oh. Okay. A new oh. To fight. Oh, it looks great. Okay. Are you ready? I guess. Okay. Obviously, this is scripted because it's way too smooth. I guess that's the, the, the proximity thing and threw a grenade in on him. Okay, I get it. Wait a minute. Battlefield had this grappling hook thing. Apex Legends has a grappling hook thing? Titanfall had the grappling hook thing? Is that the new thing in gaming right now? Add a grappling hook in? Can't be. Ooh. Oh, okay. Boy. I know that one. That one's the gravity hammer, right? That one's the gravity hammer. I know that one. I know that one. Uh, was that reflecting the shit back at them? So he shot out the shield. He hit the guy with the, the grenade. He fell behind and got him. This map looks familiar. It's been forever since I played a Halo, man. Holy shit, that's a warthog. I have. Oh, okay. Okay. This is Blood Gulch, right? This is Blood Gulch? Oh, dude. That's a banshee, right? That little thing. Okay. Let's go. Hello? <laughs> okay. Shit, man. Samurai skin looks nice. Okay, so that's the, the, the sword, plasma sword. Right. Okay. It's fucking free to play. Oh shit. This whole thing's fucking free to play. Oh, you said that before. That's right. Oh my god. Um, Mark, you sent me a meme. <laughs> this is so fucking fitting, Margie. <laughs> you get a grappling hook. You get a grappling hook. Everybody gets a grappling hook. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, man. That's so fucking true. I'm kind of sold, man. Okay, okay, I can, I can, I can jam with this. I can jam with Halo. I can do that. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Oh yeah, we better get that fucking Game Pass. Just fucking saying, you know what I'm saying. We get that fucking Game Pass. What's this? This is multiplayer, right? Multiplayer overview. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, it looks great. It's just the feeling of like being in a firefight and hearing the, the click of the gun, throwing it down, grabbing one off the wall. My gunner's upside down and he's like laying in. I see kill assist, kill assist, kill assist. Bro. I across any of the games. Whatever gun allows me to feel the most like John Wick, I am there. Remember how excited I was with like this big 
combat with vehicles going all over the place. Right. Halo means something there for everyone, right? I think that that's what makes Halo great. See, Gravity Hammer, I knew it. And that's a needler in the background there. I knew that. I know some fucking gun names and shit. Well, what is Halo multiplayer? And for me, it boils down to this tight arena style combat mm -hmm. and big team battle, this wide open vehicle infused uh, kind of combat. We're taking that awesome legacy or classic Halo combat experience and modernizing it in ways that'll feel fresh to old players and really exciting to new players. Okay. We're gonna give you great ways to customize your Spartan, really make your super soldier your own, and we're kicking off a journey, an experience that's gonna evolve month to month, season to season. Ugh, <sighs> fuck. For me, working through this multiplayer of this game and- It's gonna be good. The toughest challenge, I think, was really about how do we respect yeah, bring up the grappling hook division developer. <laughs> it would develop this grappling gun. It's unique. It's one of a kind. No other game has it on your house. <laughs> Don't look at everywhere else. The legacy of what you want for us, but still build something that feels. That's the audio I got, man. We've tried to bring all these elements of legacy and really inject them into Halo Infinite, not just like in a in a in a way where you kind of won't notice it, where you feel like, oh, they really designed this Bro. to be a celebration of Dude is an Activision Halo, shirt. As well as an iteration of where Halo can go. Dude. Just a dude an Activision shirt. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's just a guy. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. Vision of oh, Arena was man. all about a tight experience. Bro, what an aim, bro. Fuck. Fair. Oh, console. So it was all about earning everything on the map, earning everything, every kill you get. Going back to like what is the <laughs> core foundation of okay. what made okay. the great Halo multiplayer arena matches. Great. Halo, it's really about fair and balanced starts. So everybody's on equal footing when they come off the rip. And then once they start running around, it's about scavenging. It's about finding new toys and, and kind of developing your play style as you run through the match. What makes Halo feel like Halo? Um, I feel like uh, the answer to that question is is the sandbox. Like the this sandbox guy watched a lot of Halo Machine in his spare time. We know that. Look at Halo Infinite that. from a high level and the direction of what it is. There's lots of exciting things there because we really wanted to push. What are the things that are true to Halo? But what are the things that fans haven't seen yet? Equipment is back, but equipment is. Bro, I need one of them. Uh, has the has a. Where's my car keys? <laughs> We ask questions to ourselves. Of, Where's uh, my beer? If you could go after, you know, a power weapon and get a bunch of kills, Thank you. Uh, would you do that? Or could you go and get grapple to make sure that you swing yourself to the other side of a map to back cap a stronghold? Dude. We saw that as like another avenue of not just skill expression, but tactics for teams to coordinate around. The exciting combinatory nature of you know, this toy plus okay. this toy and how those interact with objectives is super amazing. Oh man, it's going to be so sweaty playing this game, bro. There's so many sweaty fucking kids, bro. Overshield and the active camouflage. For this title, what we're so many fucking what sweaty kids. for is you pick that up and you choose when you activate it. It goes into your inventory. If you haven't used it and someone kills you in multiplayer, you drop that overshield and then they can take it, use it for themselves. Oh, that right. It's very legacy, but we took the equipment side of it and modernized it. When it comes to the vehicles, we went in and decided to invest a lot in the, the systems. When I take damage in my Warthog, uh, my, my wheels can get blown off. Well, the guys with the beard. Off. There's different aspects of the vehicle that the guy with the beard, how Megan? my vehicle handles it. <laughs> and that's something that's brand new. The other thing we added to that is like this doomsday mechanic. So when you hit this threshold, the vehicle catches fire and it's oh, okay. Yeah. You've got a certain amount of health or a certain amount of time and you gotta choose what you wanna do with the last minutes of this vehicle. We've got a cousin to the last Warthog, seconds of this vehicle. Razorback. The back has this like multi-storage compartment that you can Ooh. put a lot of stuff into. So if you want to put like attached turrets, power weapons, fusion coils, objectives, and that is what really making uh, the Razorback kick a lot of butt in MP and campaign. Okay. The levels define pace for the game. This is obviously playing on it is. console, it's right? That iconic fantasy for players as they're entering that match. What do they want to do? Well, they got a big wheel. Um, what type of experience are they hoping? Yeah, to we don't need vehicles anymore, man. We've got grappling hooks to get across the map. What are we talking about? Combat. You can put yourself in? Oh, dude. Okay. For me, BTV is all about experiencing uh, the full extent of the sandbox of Halo in just one match, right? Like you see the vehicles, the weapons, mm -hmm. the equipment. 
we really wanted to take that kind of concept, those feels you had, you know, playing the play, playing the previous game, okay, and just turn the volume up. Fuck. Vehicles are no longer just. If this is a good game, we have pelicans delivering them, and we have a commander in your ear telling you oh, that cool. pelicans are going to be dropping off these vehicles. Scorpion tank is inbound. We okay. Halo 2 style Delta Halo mission weapon pods that fall from the sky to resupply the field. That's where it makes it feel like like a real battlefield and, and it's very exciting. This is not Don't say those catchphrases, bro. Don't say those words, bro. This really feels like a Call of Duty to play this game. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, please. The announcer is your big gameplay moment. Put Snoop Dogg in there. Game modes, just like the way it was before. Play. Personally, AI is really a reflection and information for the player. Personal AI, designation button. So if a player grabs a flag, your personal AI is going to tell you to, you know, get okay. that back to base and give you some, like, moment-to-moment -moment updates. Our team took hmm. What if we can let players choose their own AI and each one of those are different voices so that players can find the dog. one that fits their On dog and they mood the best? They, they add to the sense of, like, me as a, as a Spartan being more important and, and for us and in multiplayer it is really about becoming a spartan your spartan you are you inside of the halo universe the body of customization content that we have on day one ensures that there will be millions of customization combinations for spartans on the battlefield oh, dude. that includes things like this is exactly what i said they should have done for for, for, for battlefield <laughs> they're literally doing the thing that i said Holy shit, dude. Armor Yay, guys, nice. you're dropping the uh, ball, man. Emblems, you dropped it. Various armor effects, down to the individual armor pieces. So your shoulders, your dude. gloves, your knee pads, your Custom helmet, grappling visor, hooks, bro. If there's not a custom grappling hook in this thing, man, this fucking atrocity against humankind, man. There needs to be a custom grappling hook in this game. That's it. That's 100% it. They're literally doing the modification things that I suggested that they should have done for Battlefield. It's coming to Halo. Is where Call of Duty was. It's okay, solid every year. Battlefield was yeah, a bit more of a better experience you could possibly it would be. No, it comes out and starts going down here. Starts going down here. So no. And then Halo comes from nowhere, bro. From nowhere, and it's like it's like, bro, we're we're, we're just we're just banging it up. Then you look at weapons. Arena shooters, bro. A slew of customization offerings there. Spunk. Vehicles have a have a huge pool of customizations too. Bro. We support customization in the game. Players can do the same thing on HaloWaypoint.com as well as the Halo Waypoint app. Are you fucking the serious? Also customizes the Spartan, the soldier inside the suit. We want the Spartan to represent the player as much as possible. All pink. Can change their body type and their voice as well as choose prosthetics for the first time. Coatings offer us a unique opportunity to Bro. craft some. Oh, Sprunk! I thought it said Spunk, dude. <laughs> It's BNK, right? Super polished looks and let you express yourselves in ways you've never been able to before. Oh, so we're dude. coming at this from a player first mentality. So what that means is that there's no random loot in this. There's no loot boxes. It's very important to us that everyone understands exactly how they unlock customization content. And we have a variety of places where they can do that. Bro. First off is the battle pass. Let's go. The Halo battle Day one, let's go. Will never be taken away from you. And what I mean by that is once you buy it, it's yours and does not expire. In future seasons, you can purchase old battle passes as well as the current battle pass and choose which battle pass to put your progression towards. Wait a second. 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 And we have a variety of places where they can do that. Uh huh? First off is the battle pass. Yeah. The Halo battle pass will never be taken away from you. And what I mean by that is once you buy it, it's yours and does not expire. In future seasons, you can purchase old battle passes as well as the current battle pass and choose which battle pass to put your progression towards. All of these rewards are single source, so you're never going to be confused about where things come from. If you can unlock something in the battle pass, we're not going to let any other players circumvent that by purchasing it out of the storefront. A lot of our stuff is unlocked through playing the game and only through playing the game. All customization is just cosmetic. Every season will have its own theme and introduce new components, new looks, new gameplay for players, new opportunities to earn and collect cool rewards. We've seen the the samurai already. That's one of our events. Bro, I'm in. Armor cores, and that's going to be something that players can earn through gameplay. I'm freaking in, man. Free. 
with us going free to play for the multiplayer part of the game, like that was a big goal because, you know, how do we have a way we can always bring players in, right? And they can, when we have a new update, there's, there's, they'll just dip their toes in if they even just want to see it. Not only we, we could play, literally just go, right? oh, bro, what would season's that from? Console. Oh, yeah, season two. Is, All right, cool. I'm going to unlock that now. The biggest audience we've ever had. Which is Everybody fucking is awesome, man. With no barriers. And even better, your progression carries from one platform to the next. Getting our game to yes. be on PC and Sneaking. console at the same time <laughs> is an amazing chance for us to really just kind of excite new players. The game. How can we do things like make cross play interesting and like even in just customs, being able to just play with your friends that like some people have PCs and some people have consoles and like let them talk to each other, let them be friends. Okay. Why okay. Are you here? To be a Spartan. The Academy is a place that you can go uh, uh -huh. with an MP to kind of onboard into the experience. The guitarist will let me go. There you go. Players who are still picking up the controls and also people who want to warm up before they head into matchmaking. It's a series of experiences. Okay. A tutorial to get started for the first time, weapon drills to practice with specific items, and also training mode that you can use to just get warm, explore the game as you want to. For players who are new to Halo, let's help them learn what this universe is about. Yeah, me. Some of these characters, what what are they about? Bro. And help them kind of know the vocabulary that people have been speaking for now almost 20 years so that we, when they come in there, they don't feel like they're behind everyone else. They can kind of come in on- Holy fucking shit. I mean, I'm super jazzed about bots. I never thought I we'd have Halo awesome. as a thing. Our goal with bots has been to- Halo is going to be a thing, man. A variety of difficulties that kind of provide a good training partner for wherever oh, you're at shit. experience. Partnering with our players on the road to launch and after launch is absolutely. It's crazy. gonna be weird though, because like Halo's last time I played Halo, it was get a bunch of net right. Conversation. We want to make sure we hear our players, make changes where we can based on that feedback. I'm gonna make have sure a the game is ready for launch, and then even beyond launch. What I'm genuinely excited about is taking the game out of our hands and putting it into oh yeah everyone hands. else's you know, fucking hands man what people make in forge or the content that they're able to create with theater watching streamers go after the game mm -hmm. get involved you go to haloinsider.com put in your info with your gamer tag and we should be able to reach out to you if we want to invite you to a halo infinite flight let's go we feel like we've got a pretty good selection at launch and what's going to be there for our fans and this isn't going to be something that is just a static set of items. We have some new stuff in the works already, and just <laughs> can't wait to really get Dude. into that as soon as this game comes Dude. out. New maps, new modes, new ways to customize your Spartan. Launch is just the beginning. Now we're just going to be able to talk, interact more frequently, and that's just going to be great. That is the future of Halo Infinite deep, multiplayer. Thank you to the community for all their feedback over the years so far, and uh, I'm looking forward to the road to launch, launch itself, and beyond. Bro. Bro. No fucking way, man. Okay. Well, looks like we're going to be playing a fuck ton of Halo then.